Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. In today's video, we're trying out some new makeup. I'm pretty excited because I got this makeup at the drugstore, so it's very affordable and I absolutely cannot wait to try it out. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Mermaid Badisha, so please be sure to check out her channel. It will be linked down below to watch her try her new makeup. I'm going to start off by using some new foundation, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy, and this is in the shade Buff Bisque, which is light, medium, neutral. I have actually not tried this version of the foundation before. I've tried the regular Photo Focus foundation and I was really excited to give this one a go. I'm gonna be using a beauty blender to blend this out. So I'm gonna just apply all over and see how it applies. I have to say I did a really good job of color matching this foundation. I wasn't sure if this shade would work, but it actually looked just right. I really enjoyed using this foundation. I found that it was very hydrating, and even though the name is dewy, it actually wasn't overly greasy or oily looking on me. I decided to go in for a second layer just to kind of give a little bit more of a full coverage look, but I was very happy with the overall look, and it was very affordable, which I like. So definitely a good foundation in my book. I've been really looking for a bright neon shade eyeshadow palette, and I found this one from NYX. This is the NYX Ultimate Edit Petite Palette in the Brights shade. Love these colors. So I'm just going to use a little bit of eyeshadow primer to kind of create a base for these shades. I feel like if you used a white base, it would be even more bright. Now I'm just going to go in with this coral color and add this to just my crease. I found that these shades blended out pretty well. Some of them could be a little bit patchy and I had to go in a few times to kind of deepen the color, but overall for drugstore, I feel like they were very good quality. Now I'm going in with that purple shade and I'm going to use this on the outer three fourths of my lid, kind of blending into the coral shade, kind of blending it into the crease as well, but making sure not to go too far onto the inner lid space because I want to apply the pink color there. So really love the way this color applied. I love the bright pigmented shade and I just really enjoyed using this palette. For the outer corner, I'm going to go in with that bright blue, and to me, this was the hardest shade to work with. I don't know if it's because I was applying it over that coral and purple. It just seemed like I had to go in several times with the blue to give it a really good, deep, bold look to it. Um, it just seemed like it just kept muddying into the purple, so this was the only shade in the palette so far that I kind of felt was a little bit hard to work with. Now I'm just going to use that bright hot pink shade and I'm going to use this on my inner lid area. Just kind of working that into the purple shade, kind of blending everything together. I was debating which shade to use on my lower lash line, but I decided to go with that bright golden orange yellow color. I just felt like this would give it a very tropical vibe, so I just used a very thin lining brush to apply this to my lower lash line. So I've went ahead and applied my eyeliner and everything, but I still need my mascara, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna use some new mascara that I picked up. Pretty excited to try this out. This is the Get Up and Grow All May Mascara, and I have to say, when I first saw this packaging, it really reminded me of the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, and after using it, I knew for a fact that I felt like it was 
very close to being a dupe. It definitely had kind of the same shape wand and I feel like it applied the same. Did a really good job of lengthening the lashes as well as kind of keeping them from getting clumpy and I was very happy with this mascara. I decided to pick up this Hello Halo blush lighter from Wet n Wild in the shade Highlight Bling. I was really curious because the blush kind of has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so I wasn't sure if I was going to really like that. I know I love Wet n Wild highlighters, but I was curious. So just trying out the blush side first really doesn't have too much of a actual pigment to it. It is a very, very light pink shade and it does have some shimmer to it, but it kind of adds a sun-kissed glow. And then the highlighter, oh my gosh. You guys can see on my face. I'm like, whoa, that is super pigmented. So definitely, definitely recommend the highlighter section of this little duo. It's absolutely amazing and creates the most gorgeous sun-kissed glow. I just love it. I've been wanting to try a new nude lipstick, so I picked up this Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick in the creme finish. This is 755 Bear It All is the shade and it's absolutely amazing. Very hydrating and has a really nice color payoff. It's definitely a better than my lips kind of shade for me and I really loved it. Tied the whole look together. I'm actually very happy with all the items that I purchased. I think they all looked really good, um, super affordable. It was just really nice to try out some new drugstore makeup and I am super happy with my look. I feel like it looks very summery, very hot weather appropriate and I honestly am loving this foundation. I feel like it gave me just the right kind of coverage. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I hope you'll try picking up some of these products and giving them a try on your own. Please be sure to check out Mermaid Badisha's channel and check out her video as well. I know she's going to be trying some really awesome products over there, so you definitely don't want to miss it. I'm very happy with my look. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.